Hey, what's going on? It's Jerry Gleam back on the scene here with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to slowly fade out the volume for your song's audio in FL Studio. So let's hop right in and get to it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to pull up the mixer and come over here to the master channel on the far left and right click on the volume fader. Now, before you create an automation clip that controls the volume of the song, you want to always make sure that initiate song with this position is checked. And this is just going to make sure that when the beginning of the song starts, it's always going to start with the volume fader right here where you have it. So next, we just want to select create automation clip. So here in the playlist, you can see that it created a automation clip for our volume. And this line right here is just going to represent the actual volume of your song at that specific point. So you can see here at the beginning, there's an automation point on the left and there's an automation point on the right. So you can add an automation point anywhere on this line here in the song by right clicking on the line and that adds the automation point. And then you can right click and delete the automation point. So before you add an automation point, you just want to make sure that the snap to grid up here at the top left in your toolbar is set to line. Um, or really any of these, you just want to make sure that the snap to grid is on because you want the automation points to be in sync with the tempo of your song. So when you right click, it'll basically snap to this grid right here. Okay, so next you could grab the end automation point and bring it down to a volume of zero. And so you see here when I press play, it's going to slowly fade out the volume of the song right here at the end. Pick up what's left. Cool, so that sounded pretty good, but you could also just add a couple of more automation points in between these two here at the end, so that way you have more uh, control over the actual fade out. And you really can create any type of volume fade out you want. So now I'm gonna press play again. Okay, another thing to mention is that in between each automation point, there's these midpoints right here that you could grab and drag up. And that even gives you more control over the smoothness of each volume fade out. So you can adjust these to kind of help you with your fade outs. So a quick tip is that you want to make sure that this automation point right here at the beginning of your fade out is the same value as this automation point right here, because you want all of this volume in between these two points to be the same volume. You, you don't want any type of adjustment in your song's volume um, until right here at the end when you do the fade out. So to do this, you just right click on the first automation point and you say copy value. And then you can come over here to this automation point right here and right click paste value. So now the volume um, here in between these two points is you know equal and there will be no volume adjustments all the way up until right here at the end of the song when you begin your fade out. So you could also apply these same techniques that we just went over and you could apply those at the beginning of the song to do a fade in. So you could create an automation point right here. And also you just want to make sure that, you know, when you finally, when the fade in is over and you want to get to that um, normal volume, you would just want to paste this um, value right here. And now, you can drag this down and you can really do um, the same thing over here on the left side. So you could create automation points and really have complete control over the fade in of your volume. So we'll come over here and play at the beginning. So now when I actually play the end of the song, I want y'all to pay attention to the volume fader right here on the master channel. So you're going to see as this fade out begins, the volume fader is going to slowly start to go down towards zero. Cool, so the reason it was doing that is because we told FL Studio with these automation points to control this volume fader. So basically by creating an automation clip, you're automatically controlling this volume fader. So you can use this subtle effect um, on your song to help grab the attention of the listener, and you don't necessarily have to use it on every song, 
but just experiment with it and you know come up with something that sounds good. All right, so that's it for today. I hope y'all learned something. If you're still confused about anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll see y'all in the next video.